I like to consider myself as an extreme demon grinder in the game of uh, Geometry Dash. My latest completion being Broken Signal was my 10th extreme. And what I came to realize is that in Geometry Dash, there is just plenty of good extremes for you to be ranging in all sorts of difficulty. Just, there's so much variety of extremes. With that, there is plenty of extremes that go completely under the radar and don't get any attention that they deserve. And that's what the topic of today's video is. I will be discussing the top 10 most underrated extreme demons in Geometry Dash. So I have 10 levels that are ranked in order on which are underrated according to my opinion. We will start off with number 10 being Sparkling. Sparkling is a cool extreme demon as it is so unique and different compared to most other extremes. First off, I like the design of Sparkling. Even though it uses some glow, I do think it does not overpower it and it has some cool effects to go with it. My biggest thing about this level is the song. So groovy and matches the level perfectly, I've never really heard a song with this type of style. Also apparently it has some really cool double click sync gameplay which is also pretty original in itself as well. Overall this is a really cool level to start off this list. Before I get into the next level I must say there's an epilepsy warning so make sure you are physically able to watch this before moving on to the video. Next at number 9 we have a Slay GD level named Ecstasy. I really like Slay GD's stuff and this is just beyond his most underrated level. The way this level stays groovy and so intense at the same time is really impressive. Kinda like Sparkling, this level has a different intensity compared to most extremes. I know some people complain about the effects and how it's too much, but for me who doesn't have any eyesight problems, I really love the effects and how they match the beat of the song. In terms of gameplay, it is extremely balanced except for the first wave around 40-ish percent. It is genuinely well liked when played, this deserves way more attention than it has. Number 8 is a level that I have beaten and is my current hardest, which is Disentuned. For some reason this level is barely played and even talked about. From my personal experience, it is an XXL extreme that is balanced the entire way through and always has fun and intriguing gameplay from the start to the end. I also think the theme is way better than any ordinary global as it has a dead vibe to it. The song obviously isn't the best, but it makes sense as it goes really well with the design and theme that the level has to offer. One of my personal favorite extremes that I've beaten, and the level needs to be played more, especially after their balance updates received not too long ago. This is a very solid mega collab by Jakob Nugget and his crew, and this genuinely needs to play more as it's one of the most underrated extremes in the game. Number 7 is a level that I'm currently working on for my next extreme, and it is Karma. Now I might get a lot of hate for this since it is a layout level, but I don't think people understand the gameplay masterpiece that this level holds. I've never played an XL level with such unique and extremely fun satisfying gameplay using all game modes. I get it has little to no decoration, but who cares if the level is arguably the most fun extreme in the game, that's why it's featured on the GD servers. Karma needs more play so people can play the fun gameplay that is within that level. Truly an amazing experience when everything comes together from the game. Number 6 is Lucid Chaos. Made by the same people who made Lucid Nightmares, but the level is not only good, it's one of the best. As of this recording, it just fell off the list and it has a very unique theme that's kind of similar to Disentombed, but with a different intensity. The giveaway from what I've heard from this level is also a masterpiece. And me personally, I would love to tackle this as a new hardest in the future. An awesome secret gem of a level that no one talks about at all. A very underrated but great masterpiece of a level. Definitely deserves more attention in the GD community. Number 5 is a newer extreme named Wild Rose. This level has some of the best effects and designs in any extreme demon. Also has one of the best atmospheres in any extreme, especially at the beginning. The gameplay is very unique and pretty cool, depending on the person, people may not like it depending on who you are, but overall it is a really underrated extreme, as right after the release it never really blew up or picked up ahead of steam of popularity. This is definitely better than the average extreme demon, so I definitely consider this to be underrated as it doesn't have as much plays as an average extreme demon, so that's why I have it at number 5 on this Number 4 is a flow level named Reverence. 
Reverence is a red flowable with very intense gameplay that never slows down from the start of the drop. What makes it so good is that the decoration is very underrated, mainly the effects. Some effects are so smooth and matches the music perfectly. I feel like it doesn't really get talked about enough. And most importantly, the gameplay is really good. Even though it may be learning, it gets very consistent and there's no major difficulty spikes. Many people who have beaten this level have said it's one of their favorite extreme units in the game. Also, the end screen is absolutely gorgeous as well by fitting to the theme nicely. There isn't a part in this level that looks bad either. All really consistent in all different aspects. A really good collab hosted by Moon. Number three is an extreme demon I like to call Accu on Drugs. This level is Jew Ebrix. Jew Ebrix is an extreme demon that went under the radar as soon as it came out. Like I am talking about one of the best looking extreme demons in Jump Dash. Some effects in this level are completely new and not used before. Completely original, and additionally the effects have synced to the music which is another bonus to that. Speaking of music, I really like the music in this level. It is happy but also intense. The fact that this level is unknown is a total crime. The gameplay from what I've heard is surprisingly fun despite how much craziness is going on during the level. And also the fact that this was made by one person just really puts the cherry on top of the cake. A very 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 underrated extreme demon and a very solid level overall. Number 2 is also another solo extreme demon. This one is called Totem. A solo extreme demon that has a hell effect, but the catch is that it's a jungle hell level which really has never been done before with stuff quality. The decoration is outstanding and as the effects and block design absolutely kills it in quality. The music goes well for a jungle themed level and the gameplay is very flowy as well. Generally well liked when played, the gameplay is very interesting and not at all unbalanced. This level looks like a mega collab, but in reality it's only made by one person. Uh, so props to Anne for making this underrated behemoth of an extreme demon. For sure needs more plays and recognition around the community. Absolutely unbelievable. Now, by opinion, the number one most underrated extreme demon has to have great gameplay, obviously. Decoration is also a big factor, and the theme is big as well as it can make or break a level. So, with that being said, the number one most underrated extreme demon, in my opinion, is Adrenaline. Adrenaline is an XL Mega Collab hosted by Lapon77. This level is so good, like, oh my god. The gameplay is so balanced, it's so hard to do with a level that's over five minutes or over four minutes long. Another thing is that some parts look absolutely gorgeous, like so good, I'm in shock every time I see it, even if I've seen it multiple times. The theme is like a space level that shows different ships, also different planets and galaxies. The music is also some of the best in Jump Stash, in my opinion, of course. The second drop is literally perfect, it uses a variety of gameplay, like duels, spiders, and some ship and wave. Every part looks different from each other, even despite the quality inconsistencies. So it's not really stale at all, which is good. I could go on forever raving about this level because of how good it is. Now the main question is, why the heck is this underrated? This never gets talked about at all, which is such a shame because 90% of victors either say it's really good or even their favorite extreme in the game. So I think this is the number one spot. I love this level and I'm looking to beat it in the near future as well. I really like this level a lot. So that will basically do it. That is my top 10 most underrated extremes. If you're still here, thanks for watching. More content will be on the way, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to see all my uploads. Thank you, and peace.